The welding cart with heart. I know that's pretty cheesy. Well, more cheesy stuff and the details when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. I've been wanting to make a welding cart for the shop because typically I need my plasma cutter, I need my welder pretty consistently. And with the cart it was on, it held the welder fine and you know had a few hooks for the different uh, hoses, torches, um, as well as you know other items. But it just didn't hold the other tools like uh, spools of wire, uh, TIG rod, um, wrenches, things like that that you still use with the welder, but the cart just didn't live up to kind of housing all that stuff. And so I know there's a lot of builds out there on, on making things on kind of smaller cabinets, but I really wanted, you know, kind of a full size roll around toolbox to where I could really pack this thing with items that I use all the time. It's going to help me when I'm welding those tools that you reach for from from grinders to clamps to you know crescent wrenches to take the you know uh, lines off the gas bottles uh, to you name it just kind of a, a place for everything not only on the outside of the unit but also as far as storage here so walking through Walmart I see that Hart has a new line of toolboxes in fact you, if you've noticed walking through Walmart recently Heart tools have exploded from power tools. Uh, I picked up the grinder here as well. I think it was 40 bucks. Didn't come with a battery, but still $40 cordless grinder. I used that on this project as well. Um, but anyway, saw this toolbox, tons of power tools, landscaping tools, you name it, heart is really exploding. And by the way, don't judge the tools if you think you've seen tools and power tools from Walmart before, uh, because there have been a sundry of items in the Walmart tool aisles, but pick up a heart, check it out. They're well-made tools, I'm telling you, so it's a, a different tool line than you would assume uh, used to be there on those Walmart shelves. Uh, and heart, heart hand tools, they've been around for years. You know, hammers, uh, tiling tools, uh, tape measures, things like that. So heart's not a brand new line, it's just a new line of power tools as well as the toolboxes. Anyway, so I saw the six drawer toolbox, it's like a 36 inch box, uh, about 24 and a half inches deep. And I thought, you know what? That's the size box that I want to be able to put my welder on as well as my plasma cutter. So I went ahead and bought it, brought it home, brought it down to the shop and thought, you know what? Let's see what we can do to build this welding cart. Uh, I wanted to make it as simple as possible, meaning I wanted to utilize as much of the box as I could uh, kind of keeping it retained as well as, you know, kind of in stock form. So I built just kind of an exoskeleton around it. Uh, again, pretty typical to a lot of the welding carts out there. Um, and I'll tell you, minimal stuff. I used one stick of one by two thin wall tubing or 14 gauge, one by two uh, rectangle tubing, and, uh, and then one stick of uh, six inch by eighth or eighth inch by six inch flat bar. Um, and I didn't even use half of that stick. Um, so really, I, I've used a few other odds and ends here in the shop, but for the most part, one stick of one by two rectangle tubing and one stick of, or less than one stick of uh, eighth inch by six inch flat bar. The rest of the stuff, I used the casters off the box, um, but I just kind of repositioned them. As you can see, I wanted, to, I wanted to lower it as well. I didn't want it sitting up real high, um, so again, I kind of dropped it down where the exoskeleton kind of goes under the cart and supports it and then uh, raised the casters up, up on that exoskeleton kind of outside of the box, if you will. So that actually lowered the box several inches. So that's why you can tell it has that kind of low rider, low slung effect uh, look to it, which I, what I was after as well. I also, like I mentioned, I reused the casters. I, I didn't go for the bigger rubber wheels on the back like a lot do. Um, I, I went with retaining the casters off the box and like I said, just repositioned them. And I welded tabs onto my exoskeleton that basically bolted to the existing caster locations on the bottom of the box. So the you know outside steel structure, roll cage, exoskeleton, whatever we want to call that, is retained onto the box using uh, the bolts that went into the casters as well as the bolts that actually went into the original handle and even down to the handle I actually split the handle and, and welded it back together to reuse it on the box as well um, And then like I said the, uh, the 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 cage here or the exoskeleton is actually 
screwed to the place where the handle used to go. Um, for the most part, you know, with the few bolts that are in it and basically the weight of the box, that's kind of supporting it. Um, so it's not going to jump off of there, if you will. Uh, and then you know, I welded some tabs and, and some hooks on the front to hold, hold all my torches, my ground lead, uh, and even down to my TIG rods and things like that. I drilled some holes and, and uh, put those in it. I know a lot of people are probably using a lot more TIG rod than I do, and so you're using the bigger, you know, two-inch uh, either PVC or, or some of the, uh, the holders they have, they have out there. I really don't use that much. I'm not a welder by trade. I love to do it. love to do a lot of fabrication when I can. But again, I'm buying in this, you know, smaller quantity, so these little one-inch tubes uh, fit great right here on this, uh, you know, going through this one by two here and then sliding down into this uh, cavity. Um, as far as the box goes, these are 100-pound drawers, ball-bearing slides, so they slide very easily. Uh, they also have the soft-close effect as well, uh, so they're not going to slam shut. These are 100-pound capacities on these top five drawers. The bottom drawer, the bottom deep drawer has got... It's got two roller, roller bearing uh, slides on it, so it's gonna support 200 pounds. I've got everything from a seven inch grinder in there. I keep this grinder in there. You know, typical kind of impact driver, drill, um, gas bottle, covers, uh, welding jackets, bandsaw, you name it. So kind of the bigger stuff down in there. Um, but anyway, so you're talking about supporting up to 700 pounds of content, and then you can load up the top as well. I think the casters are rated at like 1,200 pounds. So, I've got the box pretty well loaded down. I mean, I can't say it's full of lead, uh, but I've got my 220 Miller up here, uh, as well as my Hypertherm, and then got the two gas bottles in the back for my, for my TIG welding and my MIG welding. Um, and it rolls quite nicely, rolls very easy. Got the swivel casters in the front and straight casters in the back. So it rolls like a typical toolbox or, or a cart. Um, I really like it. It's working well for me so far. Haven't used it a ton. I'm sure I'll add to it. I've got a 75 foot, 250 volt cord uh, that I'll actually want to wind up on the back of the cart. So I think I'll mount probably a couple more hooks back there so I can wind that big cable back there. I, I don't use that a ton. Typically I'll use the 120 volt feature on the Miller 220 um, for you know welding thinner stuff, quarter inch and smaller. And then when I need to go up to the bigger stuff, that's when I'll take the cord out and actually you know run for my 240 volt and uh, run the welder off of that side, do my heavier stuff. But, but again, it's not something I use all the time, but it'll be nice to house that cord back there so it's ready when I need it. Very impressed with the heart box. Uh, it's a toolbox. You know, what do you want out of a toolbox? You want it to work when you walk up to it. You don't want the drawers to be overloaded. You don't want them buckling. Uh, you want it to roll nicely. You want it to look decent. And I think it fits all those things. Uh, I believe I paid three thirty-two dollars from Walmart, um, plus tax, wherever you're at, you know your tax, uh, uh, your tax percentage, but ours is like 6.5% here. But anyway, so three thirty-two dollars plus tax is what I was out the door with with Walmart. Um, one thing I did notice on looking online on Walmart, like one of the stores I went to said they had inventory of two. I went there, they couldn't find either one. So that was pretty interesting. Had to go to the next one and actually pick it up. So I don't know if these things are selling that quick or if maybe they're just you know, losing track of them or whatever. Um, but check out your Walmart. Um, you can have it shipped to the store if you want to. I think that's, that's free for you. Or they may have it at a store near you as well. Um, but that was one of the nice things is there's usually always a Walmart near you. And uh, these new heart tools, pretty exciting to see that you know, Walmart has stepped it up uh, with getting some decent DIY tools in there. And typically on DIY tools, if they're good enough, you'll see those getting into the hands of those entry level pros as well. Um, I really like the box. I really like how the welding cart turned out. Uh, check out the Heart Toolbox. Again, it's their 36 inch uh, six drawer rolling toolbox. You can check them out at Walmart. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. And also the bell notification, that's going to let you know that we've got new videos out there so you can come watch them. Have a great day and go out and do something nice for someone.